Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core, and welcome to episode 1 of my live streaming guide. I did talk about doing this series a little while ago, and I've finally got everything prepared to be able to go full steam ahead with this uh, video project, so I'm really excited to get started. And this series is going to be initially aimed at complete beginners on how to live stream, and as the series progresses, I'm going to be going into more advanced tips, so I'm going to be showing you know, how to get YouTube partnership, and also how to get a subscriber button on Twitch, and things like that for the, the really advanced people. So, as this is the first episode, I'm going to be starting with the question, why should I livestream? There's a few reasons why I think everybody with an interest should get involved with live streaming if you aren't already. The first is viewer engagement. What better way to interact with your viewers than broadcasting to them live? It's much more personal than watching a pre-recorded video or podcast, and you can use this to build trust and more personal relationships with your viewers. Number two is keeping up with the industry. If you haven't already noticed, most gaming companies are now boarding the live streaming train. If you look at EA, Ubisoft, Rockstar, and even Xbox, they're all running live streams on Twitch. So by creating your own Twitch channel, you're keeping up with the gaming industry at this time. Many companies don't have the manpower to stream on such a regular basis like individuals do, so if you look at the largest Twitch channels that are out there at the moment, they're actually just a lot of independent gamers like yourselves. Number three is future prospects. Believe it or not, running a live stream channel is work. You can put it on your CV or your resume, and depending on the industry that you're trying to find work in, it can be really appealing to employers and actually really set you apart from anybody else applying um, if you're bringing this up in your interview for a position. So be sure to include any metrics you pull in and also the hours you put into it, just like you would for a normal employment. I actually have it on my resume as a live broadcaster freelance. And it shows many skills, it shows time management, leadership, community management, entertainment, and even entrepreneurial skills. And number four is gaming professionally. So have you ever wanted to play games for a living? This is one of the methods people use to live their dream job. If you look at some of the biggest Twitch channels, Soda Poppin for example, his dedication to live streaming has really set him his living playing games professionally for a living, and he's earning enough money to live comfortably off it. And he's just one example, but there's plenty of other individuals really making it big on Twitch at the moment. Now when you watch most solo gaming live streams, it can come across deceivingly easy. The broadcaster will sometimes just sit there, pretty relaxed, playing games. And the truth is, live streaming to an audience can be actually quite hard and demanding work. You're playing for really long periods of time, you're trying to focus on the game while trying to host an entertaining live stream, you're always trying to be entertaining to watch and actually engaging with your viewers while playing a game can also have its own challenges. When it comes to live streaming, I believe starting off is by far the hardest part and I see a lot of people actually giving up within a week if they're not getting hundreds of viewers. And just like with most things in life, it will be a bit of a grind to get to where you want to be. But once you're over that first hurdle and once you get the ball rolling with your live streaming channel, you can really have a lot of fun with it. Now I believe live streaming has three main components for success. First of all is patience, consistency, and also a platform to grow. I'll be discussing all three of these in depth in a future episode of this series. As for the platform to grow, YouTube and Twitch are both platforms you can use to live stream. Now YouTube is primarily a video sharing website, so their live streaming is still a few clicks behind compared with Twitch. This is mainly because Twitch is primarily a live streaming platform rather than a video sharing website, meaning that live streaming is their main focus and always will be. So at the moment, Twitch has huge opportunities for gamers, and it's well worth making the most of their advanced live streaming functionality. And for growth in the gaming world, Twitch is absolutely the best platform to start planting your seed. It currently has an audience of 45 million visitors every month, and that number is still growing every month. Now this isn't television where viewers are saturated, surfing stations, and looking through completely different categories. As a gamer, almost the whole platform could be your target audience. To put in context how much 45 monthly impressions is, according to a Yahoo article in January this year, Twitch is receiving more viewers during prime time than MTV, MTM and AMC. That's massive! Another article I saw in February this year identified Twitch as the fourth highest network of all internet traffic in the USA, and it can only really get bigger from here. So with all that being said, I really hope I might have already inspired you guys in episode 1 to start your own live streaming channel. And uh, you know, every day there's thousands and thousands of new people jumping into this, so uh, don't wait any longer. If you really want to get involved, you know, just start now. 
So I also reached out to XSplit, they have a broadcasting software, and I told them I was running this series and asked them if they wanted to support it by giving me some licenses to give out to my viewers, and uh, they kindly gave me a whole bunch of codes. So I'm going to be giving three away on this video. All you have to do to enter the draw is just leave a comment and let me know why you'd like one. You don't have to like or subscribe, that stuff is optional but always appreciated. But um, to win, all you have to do is just leave the comment and let me know um, why you'd want to win and I'll be picking three winners at random and announcing them in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Next episode, I'll be going over what you need to live stream. So I'll be talking about equipment and um, internet requirements and that sort of stuff. And hopefully, I'll also have some capture cards to give away to you guys. So pretty exciting stuff and I'll see you in the next part.